Hi everyone, my name is Nash. I am a photographer and a media and journalism and communications student here at UNC. I'm also a photography assistant at the Carolina Union in the Communications and Creative Services office down in the Union. And I'm here to accompany everyone on this photo tour of UNC. Now, you might not have a DSLR like me, um, but that's okay, you can use your phone. I've been around here on campus taking photos on my phone and I'll just be sharing some tips and tricks uh, of how to take different photos uh, here on campus. This is good for all experience levels, so you could be taking photographs for your entire life or this might be the first time you've picked up a camera. So behind me is the old well. Arguably it's one of the most famous uh, spots here on campus. My favorite angle of the old well is here because I love the way that the uh, branches are composed in front of the old well. So here are some tips and tricks for photographing friends or senior portraits. I like to place the person here, so this is my friend Zoe. Um, I'll have her stand um, up a, on the column, kind of right there. Then the scene will look super pretty. Also she's backlit by the sun. So all in all, it'll make a really good photograph. So again, I like to come down and I like to get the whole well in the photo, in the composition. So again, I'll get down. I'll snap my photo here. And coming down like this kind of makes it seem grand, especially if we're, you know, photographing something to celebrate. One thing to note about the old well is that it is one of the most popular spots on campus, especially to take photos. So there might be a line of people taking photos, especially during the months of May uh, when graduation is going on. So when there's a lot of people, uh, some etiquette rules about the old well is that you can just line up uh, a little bit around the old well, wait for the people to take their photos, and then when it's your turn, make sure you take uh, a, an appropriate amount of time to take your photos and then move on because um, everybody wants to get a spot at the old well. Not too far from the old well is the south building. And here, if you go up on the steps and look behind me, you can see pretty much a panoramic view of Polk Place or the main quad on campus. Uh, on a normal day in pre-COVID times or post-COVID times, uh, you'll see the trees uh, changing colors as well as students heading on to their classes. So uh, on those fall days, I usually love uh, coming up to the top steps of this and kind of taking a panoramic photo of uh, basically the whole campus. So my favorite angle is basically at the top of the south building steps. Um, so you got to come all the way up here, um, basically to the front doors, and you'll see pretty much the highest point that you can get to here on campus. So um, then I just like to, you know, look into my camera and take a pic. So usually there's not a tent back there. Um, UNC has temporarily put up a tent because of COVID precautions. Um, but when there's not a tent, uh, it's a good opportunity to come up right up to the front door of the south building and take a photo. It's fine to come up right up to the front door. Uh, don't be shy. You can definitely get your best angle where you can get it. So here behind me is Wilson Library. Arguably it's one of my favorite uh, spots on campus, especially for taking photos of friends or graduate or graduation portraits. So my favorite angle uh, on Wilson Library is kind of coming from the side, um, having my uh, subject kind of interacting with the stairs. Um, and you can make some really fun portraits, um, especially when you're kind of down low shooting above. So you kind of get the corners of this building and you can kind of get the cool decorations on the columns. So behind me here is the Bell Tower, also one of the prettier spots on campus. Um, my tip for shooting the Bell Tower is honestly to uh, make sure you capitalize on the hard angles that it brings. So especially if you're in, here in the afternoon like we are right now, um, you can kind of see these two shadows right now uh, that are casting from the sun. Um, and so I like to line up the two corners and try to get it as symmetrical as possible. So here we are under the Bell Tower. Um, this is one of my favorite spots to photograph people, especially for graduation portraits as well. 
Um, so again, in this time, the sun really comes in and it kind of creates a, like a cavernous effect. Um, so I also really am a big fan of backlighting. Um, so when I bring my person here, um, I'll kind of place them in the middle of these two columns right here and kind of frame them in between uh, so I can get a good photo of them. So here we are in the gift plaza. It's to the right of the front of the union. Um, it was created by an indigenous artist uh, completed in 2004. And uh, it's a great place to hang out and study, but it's also a really good place to take professional headshots. My favorite way to uh, photograph someone here is to kind of get them in the middle of this walkway right here. Um, I also like to photograph them kind of facing towards the opposite way, so you can kind of get a blurry UNC blue behind there from the student stores. Um, I also like to photograph them back there because the sun is usually behind the person and also the bricks kind of reflect up to the person so you get a kind of a nice even light on the person as well. Thanks for coming with me on this photo tour. If you want to learn more about a department, you can find us at carolinaunion.unc.edu slash ccs. There are so many good places to photograph here on campus, and I really hope this photo tour helped you out. So I'll see you around next time.